Well, here's a roundup from Thursday. Uh, not, it wasn't the same as it was Wednesday. For most of us. You know that guy we call a ring man, right? Well, we got a new name for him now. Mumble man. He didn't have the mumbles. Me and Tim and the other six or seven guys we ran into today had the mumbles. The ring man only found five rings today. <laughs> not one, not two, but five. He even found two in one hole. One was a 10K, one was a 925 in the same hole. That ring man has a new name, the mumble man. Now you fade that kind of action, two in one hole. <laughs> that guy is hot as a poot, I tell you. I've never seen anything like it. He got, me and Tim got about the same amount of clad. And he got double what we got in clad. Or close to it. Maybe more, I'm not sure. He said he had three dollars worth, so that's twice what I got. Three times what I got. I haven't got a picture yet. I'll have them in a few minutes, so I'll add them to the end. I carried the camera. He drove, because Low Tie Tim went with us. But I left the camera in the back seat with my jacket. I forgot about it, and when I got to the beach, I said it's too far back to get it, so... All you gets a roundup video. You wouldn't have seen anything but him digging rigs anyway. Stanley was there. Stan was there. Dick was there. Glenn was there. Uh, Larry was there. We didn't see Larry, but Larry was north of us. Beaver went to the bay. He got the mummels too. I don't know what to tell you. Where are we going tomorrow? I can tell you where we're going. You know, he'll probably drag us down there, the ring man will. I mean the mummels man. Okay, more to follow. Good luck there. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well show you. I've been working on this big cleaver that was all rusty. You know, I pretty much got it finished now. That old Dexter cleaver. She's in good shape, along with that Japanese knife that the guy found in his drawer. She's nice. All buffed up. Sharp carbon steel knife, as is the old big cleaver. The nice taquito to find in a drawer when you have to buy a house. I've never been able to figure out what that means or what kind it is, but I'm sure somebody could tell me. But I reached out to a couple guys and I had no luck. Okay, tomorrow, the land of Nala. Take it easy.